Hello everyone, my name is Brady Hazlett. I'm an application engineer here at 3M. And today we're gonna to talk about spray gun setup. Now, before we get started, you of course wanna have the appropriate personal protective equipment for the job. Since we'll be spraying in a spray booth, I'll have my safety glasses along with a paint suit, some gloves, and the appropriate respirator for the coating that I'll be spraying. Now this video is intended for professional audiences such as a body shop, and if you have any questions about safety or warranty, you can follow the links in the description below. Now let's get started. In our last video, we showed you how to get that color match and select the right formula for the job. And now we'll show you how you get that spray gun set up for the application. Now we're spraying a waterborne base coat and the text sheet calls out a 1.2 tip size, so that's what we'll be using. And since we have the performance spray gun, we can of course just find that nozzle and assemble it to the spray gun. Once that nozzle is attached to the spray gun, we can go ahead and connect the spray gun to our mix cup that we have ready to spray. Once that's attached, we can start to run through the settings on the spray gun and make sure that our fan adjustment, fluid adjustment, and air pressure are correct for the application. So starting with that fluid adjustment, one trick to make sure that you have it correct is to first Dial that knob all the way in, and then as you pull the trigger, turn that knob out until you no longer feel any resistance against that trigger. Once it's all the way out like that, you know that you can do a full trigger pull and get all of the material that the spray gun can deliver. Now, of course, this is great for the large open areas on the job, but if you have any smaller, tighter areas or spot and repair, you can, of course, feather the trigger or dial that fluid knob in to restrict the amount of fluid coming out. Now that your fluid knob is set, you'll next move up to your fan adjustment. Now, typically for this coating, I like about one and a half turns out, and it may vary depending on the coating that you're applying. So generally to set that, you start by dialing your fan knob all the way in until it's fully closed, and then watch the number of rotations as you back that out and get it to right, right around that one and a half turns for this coating. Now that we have our fan adjustment and fluid adjustment set will work down to the air pressure setting. Now air pressure is a dynamic setting, so you wanna make sure your air source is connected and you have that trigger pulled so you have air flowing through the gun as you make the adjustment. Once you have the air flowing, dial in that air pressure to what, what we'll be using is about 20 PSI, but make sure that you're not spraying at too high of a pressure that you're wasting material or too low of a pressure where you're adding too much texture to the job. We found 20 PSI works for the coating we're applying today. All of these settings may change once you move on from a base coat to any of your clear coat, or if you were applying a sealer before this, uh, you will need to pay attention to what settings deliver a nice wide uniform fan with the appropriate texture for the coating you're applying. Now we have our, sp our spray gun set up and ready for that first application, so stay tuned for the next installment in the paid application series. If you like this content, Feel free to hit that like button, comment, or subscribe. And for more content like this, follow the link below for the Collision Repair Academy. We'll see you next time.